second year was like, I got to change my body. I got to get in better shape. I got to be the best conditioned athlete. So I went back to Duke, trained that whole summer. I played my third year. It wasn't a great year. I was still in and out of the rotation at times, you know, and then fourth year, I finally like played every game. So like those moments, it wasn't like I did it and then I had immediate success or immediate rewards a yeah. month later. It took years and years and years to get to the point where someone like me could average 18 in the season, right? Yeah. And hey, that clip is so real and it's so needed too. Here's why. So often in this social media world we live in, people will promote the finished product yet hide the pain of the process. And what we need to get to the finished product is understand and be prepared for the pain of the process. That's what I call competitive maturity and that's what JJ Reddick is discussing. See, here's the thing. When you establish a standard of excellence and you commit to it, right? There's going to be a stage. There's going to be a long suffering period of time Time when your habits of excellence, your standard of excellence has yet to show external results. And a lot of times an immature competitor will get so discouraged with themselves, they will beat themselves up for things they should be celebrating. That happened to a young man that I was trying to mentor. This young man had developed the courage and developed the conviction and developed the commitment to his dreams to establish a standard of excellence. While that was the case, he left the gym in tears because his standard of excellence had had yet to show external results when he played. And so instead of walking out of the gym feeling like a champion, which he should, he felt like a failure. And what I had to tell him is this, because you've established your standard of excellence, man, I know you want your success to show up today. I know you hope it shows up tomorrow, but it's but it may take a long time. JJ Reddick said the standard of excellence that he established and committed to didn't show up for two years. And so as you continue to go on in your competitive journey, make sure you bring your competitive maturity to understand that your standard of excellence ain't gonna show up today or tomorrow but you can have the peace of mind and rest assured that as long as i show up with my standard of excellence i'm gonna see success at some point